Hello everybody, Greg Austin with Be A Better Official. A new point of emphasis this year in high school is protecting the free throw shooter and there are new rules to support that. Today we look to clean up our mechanics on free throws to ensure we get the best possible look and we can get this play right. That'll be today on 5 Minutes on Officiating. Stick around. NFHS rules in 2015-16 make it a violation for an opponent of the thrower to enter the semicircle and a foul for them to contact the thrower if it is more than incidental contact prior to the ball hitting the basket or backboard. All right, let's look at a couple of examples. First off, um, positioning where to stand as the C or as trail and two person. The mechanics manual says halfway between the nearer lane line and the sideline. So we'd want to be about here and we want to be just behind the free throw line. So possibly right about here on the court would be a good spot. We're responsible for these two players on the lane and the thrower. In two person, we're responsible as well for players violating beyond the arc. So we want to position ourselves so that we can certainly see these three players to detect if they violate or not. And usually that's going to be have to be up a step. Um, I personally like to stand right about here, right about here. It's a good place to start. All right. Official properly has a silent count. But you see, when the ball is released, raises the hand and turns the shoulders, right? Immediately blocking view of these players here. We're now going to have to ensure that we open up our shoulders and our body and officiate any players coming in who may violate the semicircle. Another example. Now this official has a much better angle on the play, very close to the sideline. Um, could step out onto the court a little bit, but the angle to officiate these players is crucial. Silent count. And again, he makes the same mistake. Um, not in a position to judge this action here, or when, whether there's any subsequent dislodgement. But let's watch again. The official turns his shoulders, basically, which is going to be the kiss of death on this play. Um, with the hand raised completely obscuring this action here. You're just not going to see it. So we have to take care of this business first. All right. This example, our official is has a great angle on the play, a little close to the sideline. Notice the open look on the players here, keeping the, the shoulders open, stepping down for rebounding action, but not giving up on this responsibility here as well. Bottom line, we have more to do when we're officiating the free throw. We need to make sure that our body position is such that we're in the best position to officiate the play. When you break down the video of your game, make sure to check yourself, how you're doing, positioning yourself to see what you need to officiate. Don't close yourself off. Make it a habit of staying open. Open looks. We love them. If you found this useful, give it a like. Share it to officials who could benefit from it. Have a great day.